Hi guys. So, I am a crazy mess right now. Most of the days I am. Most of the days you see those pictures, you know we all do it. We put them up on Facebook and Instagram and we're like, oh, I'm a model. I look so good. Yes. Um, that's not me. Like, ever. But I, you know, we put the best of the best out there. So, today, what I'm going to show you is we are masterpieces, aren't we girls? We are masterpieces and I am trying to practice more self-love because I was always insecure of myself and jealous of people and I am trying to work with all this and roll through life. No pun intended, but that's what I'm trying to do. But we all have those days, whether we are walking, we are in a chair or something's wrong with us. We all have those days where we procrastinate and need to get going and we have somewhere to be, places to be, people to see, and we don't have enough time. Maybe our kids are driving us nuts, our boyfriends are driving us crazy, or life just sucks and we just let all that time slip away where we needed to get ready and get going. And now the time comes and we were supposed to look glam and we only have 15, 20 minutes to do it. That's me most of the time. My girlfriends know that. So I'm gonna show you what I put together with the little products that I use and I create something that is a bit of a masterpiece. Well, I'm gonna call it that. So if you would like to watch my crazy mess turn myself into a glamful mess, then you know what to do, just keep watching. And if not, I'll see you in the next one. But please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in just one sec. I'm so awkward. Alright ladies, so the first step to look your best, well um, the best with what you got in 15 minutes is the tool you need and the greatest tool that really is from mankind that he blessed us with, with the hair that I have, is a brush and a detangler brush at that. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to brush my hair and I don't have the luxury where I just, you know, brush my hair one handed, nope, I have to brush it with both hands because I'm a quad. I have parted my hair over this way for years and I don't understand why this like wants to go in the middle, not over here, or not over here. The next step is, ladies, but I don't have it, is dry shampoo. It will be your best friend. You can get it at any store you want. It will help with your hair being greasy, especially if you're running late. So that is a good tip to use. I don't have that right now. Or what I do is, because my hair gets like flat and stuff, I go in the bathroom, put some water in my hair, scrunch like this, flip it over, take a hair dryer, and scrunch up. I wish they would shut up. Nicely. Hey, can um, everyone shut up? Thanks. I'm just kidding. Can is Ashley, can you like go that way? So I don't hear your voice. Thanks. Love you. So I don't have a headband right now. So what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use these glasses that I fake and pretended like I needed, but really I have 20-20 vision. Um, and uh, that's not bragging because I kind of wish I had a little bit something for my eyes because I think glasses are cute. Yeah, so I just buy fake ones. So this is not fake, these are my mom's and I cannot see in them. So the pictures that I took before this, yeah, I couldn't see in them. But yeah, so I'm gonna use this as a headband. Key to makeup, key to hair, key to clothes, shoes, rock what you got and rock what you have. You can always turn something into something else. Remember that. You got your blank canvas, which is your coloring book, and you just color through life. And then when you're done with that page, switch to the next chapter and color some more. That's what I look at life like. Next step is, ladies, is moisturizer. That, I really find, is key to a good look. So I have this moisturizer that is right here. Excuse my hands. 
So if you haven't seen my last video um, or any other videos, I am a quad obviously, and I that is not dirt, that is rubber. You see that though? That is rubber that's on my hands. I used to have a gaping hole in my hand because I burned it. Yeah, who's a quad out there or paraplegic who hasn't burned themselves before? So now we're gonna moisturize thy face, moisturize the neck, and I'm gonna fast forward that part. Next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a primer. I am going to take my, and you do not need this, actually, I just seen that, so Jeffree Star did a video a review on Tatcha's primer that is uberly expensive and then Elf's primer and said that it was very similar um, and it was out of stock for like months and it is officially in stock on Ulta so I'm gonna snag those while I can um, because they're $8 versus $52 but I was bougie and got me some bougie primer because I don't like my pores so today I'm going to be going in with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and it looks like this. And I'm using the color C7. And I'm just going to go in with that on some key points where you can see a lot of my pores, which is my nose area, kind of right here and right here. So if you don't have it, you don't need it. Like I said, the products that I have is just stuff that I built up over the years. So, as I get it all over my eye, I am just going to go in with a primer because I have actually somewhere to be tonight um, and I would like to not have my pores all over the crazy place. Um, but yes, I'm going to be just using the primer in key areas. Primer is great, but it's not absolutely necessary when you are trying to rush. So. You don't have to use it, but I did today. Now I'm gonna go on with my next step and it is concealer. I'm not going to be using foundation today because foundation, I will just need other things and I will need other things after that and blah, 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 blah. I don't have enough time for that. So I'm just going to be using the concealer and I'm going to be using Jeffree Star's Magic Star. It looks like this, it's really pretty, it's broken. Um, and I'm going to be using the shade C7. I'm going to be put it in key areas where I feel like are imperfections that need hidden. I'm going to be taking my damp beauty sponge right here and I'm going to just blend that in. I know that most people know all these steps. I get it. I am not the first beauty guru out there that has shown you. But my channel is mostly to help girls and empower girls that they can do anything. And guys too, whatever you are into. You know, life is hard and you don't know when disappointment is about to come your way. And so my channel is to help people get past their insecurities and to show them that life is beautiful after heartbreak. Ah! Your next step is to bronze up your face. Now you can take any bronzer that you would like. Because I'm a little bit tanner, I'm going to be taking my Morphe bronzer in the darkest shade, and it looks like this. It's a really nice bronzer and it's really cheap. I'm going to be taking the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill brush, the JH02, and it looks like this. I'm gonna dab that all over. Get the excess off my hands and go in. Sometimes I get a little bit darker, but don't worry, I can fix it. So I'm sure you guys are probably thinking, what is this chick doing? She is putting way too much bronzer, but honey, just listen to me, okay? I put more bronzer on because by the time I walk out the door, I'm a basic ghost. Like, I'm like, where did, where, where did it go? So, I never can get my neck tan, so I always put bronzer on my neck. I'm now going to go in with my blush 
And I'm going to be using the Milani blush. Looks like this. In the shade Coral Cove 05. I always darken me up real dark and then I tone me down with some liner. I'm going to be taking my absolute favorite. I don't know what I would do without this blush brush. It is, yes, from Morphe, the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill brush in JH06. It's like this. It comes in, well, I don't know if it's sold, sold separately, but this comes in her silver box. And I'm not joking, it's my favorite absolute blush brush ever. I always put more blush on because it always like fades away before I even leave the house. And you're probably like, whoa, girlfriend, you've got a lot of blush on, but don't you worry. I tone this all down to make it look a very simple, glam look. I am going to be using which, what I feel like really makes this look baked this cake extra special when I throw this ingredient in. I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. They do have little individuals sold separately for your kind of shade range. I did have that, but then I had some extra money and I splurged and I got this one. Mm -hmm. I'm bougie like that. Kid. Looks like this. So these, this top row and this bottom row that's right here, um, each one of those are sold separately. So, oh shoot. I am going to be taking that middle shade, that white one, light one, banana, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to lighten up my under eyes and other places that I feel like needs lightened up and brightened. I'm going to be taking two tools. I'm going to be taking my Damp Beauty sponge right here, and I'm going to be taking another Morphe brush, which is the JH. Oh, seven brush. Dab that all around like that, and I'm gonna go in. Those spots that I can't seem to blend out, I fix with the other brush. Sometimes when you're baking a cake, you gotta get those bubbles out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take the bubbles out in my cake. I'm gonna try to go back in with this brush and see if I can fix that a little bit better. I'm going to take my bronzing brush and I'm going to blend some stuff out. Now I'm going to take another key ingredient, which is the highlight. Today I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild highlight in the color Precious Petals. To me, it has a similar vibe to Champagne Pop from Becca. I'm going to be taking the M510 brush, and it looks like this, and I'm just going to highlight the apples on my cheeks. I'm going to highlight my nose, and I like extra highlight. So those of you who don't like highlight, you can put as little to as much as you want. I definitely feel like the highlight makes the glam. I don't know about you guys. Some people like to be more matte, but I feel like this definitely puts a dewy vibe to the look and I feel it like it looks more glamful. So you guys see what you guys like. Now I am taking my blush brush to just blend everything out. So I'm going to put on a little bit of eyeshadow. I mean a little bit. So I'm going to be using the James Charles palette. Okay, so I'm going to be using this right here and that at the top. Sometimes what I even do is I take the excess on some of my brushes 
round it out, round it out, put on some mascara, and there you go. Call it a day. I'm going to be going in with that light color, and I'm going to be using the M504 brush. I'm going to dab that all in there, get it all in there. And then I'm just going to everything just fell. Just round it out so that I have a little bit of color. Like I said, depends on what time you have. This is not necessary. It is fine with just some mascara and hitting the road. All right, there we go. We got a little bit of color on there. I'm gonna go in with the JH33 brush just for me. I am gonna add some more color to it, but like I said, this is not necessary. But it's just because I really have somewhere to be and I don't wanna be dead looking. So now I blended this out a little bit better and I am going to take the Morphe M441 brush and I'm going to take that same color that I had over the top and I'm just going to see over here I added some underneath the eye. I'm just going to do the same over here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Which looking at it, I'm so annoyed because in person it looked so blended out. But I don't understand. On camera to me, one of the eyes didn't look like it was blended out very much. Ugh, so annoying. But I love makeup. Can't help it. The best thing is though, you can always get better. I'm now done with the eyeshadow and that is not necessary. But today, it is necessary for me. I'm going somewhere and I just wanted a little bit of eyeshadow on my eyes. So now I'm going to go in with my mascara. And normally I go in with the L'Oreal Luminous Lash Paradise. But it's dried out. So I'm going to be using my Ipsy mascara today. And it is the... Punk Volumizer Mascara by D-O-U-C-C-E, I think. Dos, Dose. Looks like this. And I'm going to go in with that off camera because it's just mascara. So now that I'm done with my mascara, depending on the time you have, I love to actually put some inner corner highlight and I use the Jeffree Star Ice Cold and then I just take a small brush and I just dab it in there. I make time for it, but it's the JH38 brush is what I use. It looks like that. It really brightens up your eyes. I'm just going to literally touch my eyebrows like very very little because when you don't have that much time I like literally have to go in with my eyebrows and I do it for like 20 minutes I used to have to do it for like an hour well not really but it was seriously like a problem trying to do my eyebrows so I'm just gonna barely touch them because when you're out of time you just do what you gotta do so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the spoolie fluff them up and just put a little bit in a couple different places. Ready, set.
eyebrows are done. Okay, so the last ingredient to this picture is lipstick, one of my favorite parts. So I'm gonna go think about what I wanna put on and um, I'll get back to you. Just one sec. I'm feeling either Baby Daddy by Jeffree Star or I'm feeling Gemini by Jeffree Star. Baby Daddy would go really good with the eyes, but Gemini would look really good with the cheeks. I think I'm gonna go with Gemini. That's like my peaceful place. That's what I go to, unfortunately. Not unfortunately, but I just go to that. I never go out of the box. Okay, so now that is it. After that, I throw the glasses down, I brush my hair, I frantically try to find an outfit, but you know what? The best outfit for a quick outfit is a jean jacket. That's me all the time. I wear a jean jacket when I don't know what to wear and I want to kind of look cute. Always push through your struggles, no matter what the struggles are. You never know what reward you have at the end of it. All right, guys, that is it for this look. And so, I know it was very simple, it was nothing to it, but hey, sometimes you need to just work with what you got and get out of the house. And so today, that's what I did. I used a few ingredients to bake this face. Sometimes I don't want to always put on all that heavy product sometimes I just because the summer it's hot so and I mean I'm kind of wearing a jacket so it doesn't really make sense but anyways sometimes we don't want to wear all that heavy makeup and sometimes we do like I love doing my makeup but sometimes I just want to wear something light and like right now I'm rushing and I need to be somewhere so if you are like me and you procrastinate doing makeup and you've got about 15 20 minutes to do what you can to get this all dressed up take my steps do those little steps that you have right there brighten the eyes put some bronzer on put a lipstick put some highlight some mascara and you're good to go so this is my look today I popped on a nice jacket because I really don't know what to wear and I feel like jackets always you know kind of make you look cute I have some earrings right there but I really don't want to put them on because my battery is about to die so if you guys like this look you hear all this craziness that's my life how about your guys' life what do you guys have going on how many kids do you have how many dogs do you have how many boyfriends are you dealing with girlfriends whatever you are dealing with right now that is stressful come to my channel girl I will help you survive I'm just kidding no but life is a struggle life is hard and so I want this to be a safe place a fun place to go to and enjoy makeup enjoy laughing and feel good about yourself I used to struggle a lot with insecurities I was very insecure it was I was very insecure and jealous of people until I actually got in the wheelchair and God kind of showed me who I am within him and that's what I'm trying to seek I'm trying to see who I am through him and trying to ask him to show himself and show who I am in his eyes. Because sometimes it's really hard, especially in this world where you need to be a size two to be fit. You need to have long luscious hair, even though yes, I do have long luscious hair. You know, you gotta have all these things to be beautiful. And us girls, we feel like we have to compete against each other, trust me. I am trying so hard to not feel like I need to compete with people because being in a wheelchair can really suck, can really be hard on someone's emotional state. Their insecurities will be heightened. So I wanna be here for you guys, especially you guys that are in wheelchairs, struggle with any kind of insecurity. Um, please know that I always have and I probably always will. 
I hate when my nose just floods and ruins my makeup. Like, rude. Especially like, you know, my family out there that knows I'm doing a video. Seriously. But I'm here for you guys because I know what it's like to struggle. And I want you guys to come on my board. My board. I want to roll. I, I want you to roll with me through life. Um, because until I'm walking, I'm going to roll through this life. And I'm going to rock what he gave me. And be content with what he gave me. Because it can always be worse. So, whether you are short, tall, skinny, maybe a little bit thicker, rock what you got. And as always, guys. Let me do that again. So, as always, guys. Slay the day. Um, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because I feel crazy in this crazy world that I live in. So, bye guys.